Big news here in Mississippi. The jokesters that were elected as their state representatives decided to bypass the vote and went straight for the jugular to remove the state flag of Mississippi. My thing that I've said from the beginning is that if it goes to a vote and if the overwhelming majority voted in favor of a new flag, you're not going to hear me complain. Because at the end of the day, Mr. Mayor, I want to speak my statement has always flag. been like about our constitutional rights. Okay? The rights that are afforded to us as citizens. It's not about a stars and bars. It's about the rule of the people. Sure, but this is the taxpayer's house. They have a right to speak. You the have the people no doesn't right matter. to say that they can't speak. And you have elected officials that are making controversial moves that are ignoring that which the people vote for. You're a cultural Marxist. You Every just spelled out one of an epic sitting there disaster cultural Marxist for society. Because it sets precedence. Only bad things can come from it. Don't want to hear about one of the nastiest, nastiest, nastiest public corruption scams. And what's crazy is I've literally mapped this thing out for every single phase of what's going on right now in advance because I knew what happened. And you've got agencies that are obstructing justice, destroying evidence, and turning a blind eye. Shoveling proof of innocence. Jared Bundren. And shielding criminal activity. Hey, I'm here to show you how What's to conduct going on a proper in our very investigation. Government. You received a call on May 24, 2017. Anus corruption. I would like the details of that call. To such a level. Why are y'all cowards? Why are y'all cowards? To help get a female Democrat mayor elected. I'm saying elected. I would like to. I, I'm trying to ask. You said no to. Yep. Damning information. Which would have had. Potentially devastating political ramifications from coming down the hopper. Her husband, the attorney of my ex, for the original child custody matter back in 2016, August of 2016, it was that time that my child was kept from me for approximately two months. It's the first extended period of absence that I, I took away from her. That was, she basically was, was used as a wedge, a negotiation tool. You got the May 1st, 2017 arrest. In front of that statue right there. Where I was holding the state flag of Mississippi. Standing on public property. Was not bothering the soul. Was not loud. Nothing. Just standing on this very pavement that I'm standing right now. Holding the state flag of Mississippi. But because that didn't fit the agenda of this city, the city being that it took it on itself to remove the state flag from city property while all along taking taxpayer taxpayer dollars from the state, from Jackson. 
My view hasn't changed on that. Never will. It's common sense. If you take state-funded tax dollars from your state, well, damn it, I think it should be an obligation that you fly the state flag. I don't think that that's... I don't think that's some far out there want and demand. May 1st, Deputy Sheriff Timmy Pruitt pulled up. He asked me if I had a permit to be here. I told him that I had the First Amendment. I'm a Marine Corps veteran. I'm a patriot. I'm a three percenter. I took an oath at the end of 2007 to uphold and defend our Constitution from all enemies, both foreign and domestic. My oath had no expiration date. Nowhere in the military oath is there an expiration date that says that this oath is only good until the time of your service ends. And it's like that for a very particular reason. You see, when I took an oath back in 2007 to uphold and defend our Constitution, I swore an oath to our country and ultimately wrote a blank check to our government for an amount up to and including my life. Now, I wasn't deployed. I was never sent to a deployable squadron. In fact, I was in the air wing, and I was part of a non-deployable squadron that actually trained new pilots to fly the AV-8B Harrier and then get assigned to a gun squadron and sent overseas to drop bombs on Iraq. So I, th I personally find my MOS and my job very crucial to the readiness of the Marine Corps and its officers to go and drop bombs on the bad guys. Okay? So I wrote a blank check to the government for an amount up to including my life. It's that reason right there alone that the oath that I took doesn't expire. So I wanted to know, and I still want to know to this day, how a city and a county has the right, feels that they have the right to supersede the Constitution, the law of the land. Because the last I knew, no law made by any city or any county ever had the effect of becoming a law in a lawful order if it directly clashed with that of the Constitution. And the First Amendment right guarantees my right to stand here on public property whether or not I'm causing friction, whether or not I'm irritating people. It's my right granted through the First Amendment to have freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of press. Just like, I'll point the camera over here, like y'all can see, we've got protesters over there holding signs, wanting the statue to come down. And I tell them every single time I talk to them, they have a right to be here. And honestly, they have the right to live, to be here free of harassment. You don't even need to have a permit. It shouldn't even be a requirement to have a permit. But see, that's the liberal hypocrisy because I'll never hear that said to me. In fact, being that I'm a conservative, just the opposite. 
back in May of 2017, false reports were called up there about me causing problems on the square, even though I wasn't saying a thing. I was just holding a state flag, had a gun on my hip. You know, I am audio and video reporter, Mr. Okay. Brad. I don't care. You have a permit to be here. Um, your First Amendment action. You have a permit to be here. No. All right, you got to leave. Why is that? Because you're going to jail if you don't. I'm going to jail just yep. for standing out here and holding right. the flag. Yeah. You have to leave. Okay. Where does that super... Well, I'm, 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 let me, let me just... Let me just... Can I just ask I'm you... Ask can you, I ask I'm you a question? I'm going to ask you one more time to leave. If not, I'm going to go to jail just for the conduct. Okay. I'll... I'll I'll leave and take this straight to my attorney then. That's, that's, uh, you can't threaten me with my First Amendment rights. You're, hey, I'm going to tell you right now, Mr. Craig. One. This fucking city is ass fucking backwards. Ass fucking backwards. Y'all see that? Hey, what's your, no what's your badge number, by the way, Deputy Pruitt? No, I'm not. I'm leaving. I was asking you. I was asking you. leaving long story short deputy Pruitt said i had to leave i didn't have a permit or i was going to face arrest I said i was going to take the video straight to my attorney nah i couldn't be threatening my first amendment rights his uniform was a little bare that day he had forgotten to put his badge back on before coming out took about seven steps off and I turned around to ask him what his badge number was that infuriated him because it made him look horrible as if he wasn't already doing a good enough job of that himself when he came trying to trod on a Marine Corps veteran and a Patriot's rights to stand there in solitude by myself not even as a group holding the state flag of Mississippi I was arrested when I asked him what his badge number was and infuriated him. He took me to the jail. I maybe was in the jail for about an hour before I posted bond. I grabbed my state flag. My car was parked right here on the square still. And I decided I was going to take a victory lap and walk from the sheriff's department with my state flag back to the square. And I did a victory lap around the square holding my state flag, proudly holding my state flag. Because I knew what I did was not wrong. And you can try to paint me into a corner and try to and try to demonize me all you want to. Fact is, even by the sheriff's department's own admission and through multiple agencies, news agencies, I was arrested holding the state flag on public property.